Okay, we come back to the next lecture. Now, last time we have seen something about what is called as halogen derivative. In halogen derivative, you have seen the types of halogen derivative in that you have seen different kinds of alkyl halides. For example, halolkene, haloalkene, aloharines, allylic halides, vinylic halide, benzyl halide, and etc. Now, let us start with the nomenclature of this. Now, nomenclature. Nomenclature of halogene. Let's start with the first nomenclature of halogene is now when you see the classification of halogene, in that we already seen what is this nomenclature is all about. Let's start with the revision of this. Let's start with the first one. We know this common name is. This is methyl chloride. If you write IUPAC name of this, this is chloromethane. Next one. This is called as common name is ethyl chloride. IUPAC name is. Chloroethane. Next one. IPAC name. First, we will write this. IPAC name is this is 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3. The possible, lowest possible number must be given to the halogen atom. So, we will start with this one. This is first carbon, second and third carbon atom. So what you will write? So three. So this will be propane only. So this is propane. But which propane? As the first carbon atom contain chlorine. So this is one chloro propane. This is IUPAC of this compound. We know the common name of this compound is common name is N propyl chloride. Next one, now this is, we already know this compound is common name, we already seen the common name of this compound is the secondary propyl chloride. IUPAC name, if you want to write IUPAC name, first you have to remember the chain. So 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 3 chlorine atom is going to get the same number. So this is 1, 2, 3. You will find it is a propane. 2 chloro propane. That will be the IUPAC name. So this is 2 chloro propane. This is what IUPAC name of this compound. To start with the next one. Now these are the butane forms. Let's start with the IPC with this compound. The rule is just first like the longitude of carbon atoms. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. You will find that the bromine atom is attached to the first carbon atom. So you will write the IPC name of this compound first. It is 1 bromo butane. Okay. Again the same thing. We have to work slow at say the longitude of carbon atom. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Why are you from the level uh, right hand side? Because if you label from the right hand side, the bromine atom will acquire the lowest possible number that is 2. But if you label from the left hand side, it will acquire the lowest possible number that is 3. So we choose for what right one. So what will I be saying of this? So I will be saying of this compound will be 2 bromo as a 4 carbon atom, so it is 2 bromo butane. Next one, select the longitude of carbon atom. 
So you start from the right hand side. One, two, three. We will find that first carbon atom contain chlorine, while second contain what? Methyl group. So we'll write this way. We will write one chloro, two methyl, one, two, three propane. So we will paste the name of this compound. Uh, next one is again what's the elongation of carbon atom? One, two, three. So the three carbon atom that means it is a propane. Now the second carbon atom contains chlorine as well as methyl group. So we will choose to write by this way. This will be a two chloro, two methyl, propane. All this what I will paste names. Of course, common names are also important. So you will write common name also. We have seen this common names. This is common name is N butyl bromide. This is secondary. This is secondary butyl bromide. Next one is this is isobutyl because this is what isogroup is there. So you will write this is iso. The type, you right? This one is tertiary butyl. So this is the order. This is the method by which you can easily able to name IUPAC and common name system. For example of this halo K, they will move to the next one. Let's start with another two for examples. First compound, let's start with the next one. For example, you have one line structure also. How to, number, how to label this compound IUPAC name? As I told you, first select the longitude of carbon atom. If you select the longitude of carbon atom, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we label. Now, if you label from left hand side or right hand side, you will find. Here it's getting our same number that is three numbers. So we label from right hand side one, two, three, four, five. So if we label from a right hand side, you find that the chlorine atom acquired lowest possible number that is three. And if we label from left hand side, we will find again it's getting our same same number. But now if you just close this chlorine atom and if you want to label this compound, you will find that if you label from left hand side. This methyl group getting number two. So after a chlorine, the branches are three methyl groups. So it is very easy. Now you have to see that this methyl group also must get what lowest possible number. So we will label from one, two, three. We will label from left hand side, not a right hand side. So this is a wrong method. Just cancel this. We are going to label from left hand side. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Why this? Chlorine fix number three. Now we are going to compare with this only methyl groups we label from left hand side. So what is the name for this compound? We find that if we 3 chloro. After 3 chloro, we find that this is 2 comma 2, 2 comma 2, 3, trimethyl. Total number of carbon 5, so it is pentane. Next compound again what you have to see the longitude of carbon atom. So we will suffer see the longitude of carbon atom is this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The longest chain is 6 carbon atom. Now you have to label number this chain. 
If you remember from this way, 1, 2, 3, 4. Plurina atom acquired lowest possible number that is 4. If you label from right hand side, this is 1, 2, and 3. So we label from this way 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So you can easily able to remember this. This is 3 chloro. Where are the methyl branches are? This fourth carbon until it contain what two methyl branches? So you will write 4, 4, 4 dimethyl. Hexane. Now the next compound is in a bond line structure. You have to first select as usual longitude chain of carbon atom. If you select the longitude chain of carbon atom, you will find this is one. Second carbon atom, third carbon atom, fourth, fifth, and sixth carbon atom. So it is hexane. Your second carbon atom contains chlorine, methyl, and fourth carbon atom also contains methyl groups. So for what you are going to write this, this is two chloro. Then 2, then 4, dimethyl, so 2-chloro, dash 2, comma 4, dimethyl, total number of carbon 6, so it is hexane, so very simple compound, huh? okay, let's start with something, some examples of dialogic derivatives of halolkene only. The name for this compound is dichloromethane. I will find this both this carbon atom. First carbon atom also contain chlorine atom, while second atom also contain chlorine atom. So how to label this compound? It's very simple. This is one. 2 dichloroethane. This is 1, 2 dichloroethane. Same thing you can easily able to write for trilogic derivative also. This is the best compound we have seen already. This is common name is chloroform. But if you want to write IAPC of this, this is very simple trichloromethane, trichloro, three, car, three chlorine atom, methane, one carbon atom. So this is trichloromethane. So we'll just start with another examples for this. Next example is. Okay, let's start this IUPAC name for this compound is so you will find this is cyclohexane. So this is chlorocyclohexane. Now this is also cyclohexane contain two chlorine atom. So how to write this? You have to number this compound first. You will number this one, two, and three. So we we'll write this is one comma three. Dichlorocyclohexane. Next compound is again you have to number starting with number one. You can't number from right hand side this way. You have to number first methyl group two, three, four, five, and six. So you will find this is what this is one chloro, two methyl. Cyclohexane. So these are the examples we have seen in the IUPAC naming system for halolcane. Just you have to see that this must be halolcane. Yes, this is halolcane. All these examples are halolcane only. Let's start with the next example. Now. We are going to see two four examples of now <coughs> halorine. Now halorine, we we'll write first example, then we will start IPS naming system.
Now let's start the first one. We know this common name system. This is chlorobenzene. Now we can take this is a halogen derivative of halogens. So this is one. Remember this. This is one and this is what a two. So this will be one comma two. Dichlorobenzene. This will be the iupacial name of this compound. Next one. Again, you have to number this. This is one, two, and three. So what will the iupacial name of this compound is? This is one comma three. Dichlorobenzene. Start the next one. This is one comma two comma three comma four. This is one comma four trichloro. One comma four trichlorobenzene. Next compound is again you have to remember this. This is one two three. So one comma two comma three trichlorobenzene. So one comma two comma three trichlorobenzene. So many of this compound you can easily able to write what common names also. This is chlorobenzene as usual. You can write for if you want a common name of this. This is ortho position, meta position, and para position. You write ortho dichlorobenzene. This is meta dichloro. Benzene and this is para. This is para dichloro benzene. So these are the naming systems for halogen. 